Hi, I'm Steve Reddick. This is your Southern Ontario News weather update for Tuesday morning. We're back into some cooler air, although still a few degrees above seasonal. But the real warm stuff, the 20s, well, that'll be gone for at least a week. As we look at earth.nullschool.net, we do see a northerly flow of air, northeasterly flow of air, which is bringing us some clouds. The clouds will eventually go away today, uh, but we still have a little bit of cooler air coming down from the north, but uh, warmer air for the next couple of days will be with us. And uh, checking our, our uh, looking at our model map here, it shows that we do have high pressure still to the north of us, but low pressure will sort of sneak in as we get into Thursday, Friday, bringing us a little shower activity, but generally the trend will be to dry drier conditions over the next little while. Checking our air pollution index, uh, fairly nice out there through Toronto, down through Oakville. Now, only two today, so that's in the low range. As you get into Burlington, Hamilton, down towards Niagara, uh, a little grittier, about five, but that's still in the moderate range. Guelph, Kitchener, uh, down towards Brantford, also in the low area today. So for the most part, you're looking at the great conditions for being outside and doing things. Here's a look at our extended forecast. For today, tomorrow, some sunny skies, a cloud to start the day, of course, today, a high of 16 for today, which would be three or four degrees above seasonal, a low tonight of three degrees, a high of 14 for tomorrow, and a low of nine. As we get into Thursday and Friday, we'll see a bit of a push of warmer air coming with that rain on Thursday, but then cooling off as that uh, system goes by us as we get into Friday. Saturday, Sunday, looking a little drier than we'd anticipated yesterday, with temperatures in around 12 uh, and 11 degrees, and then Monday, again, a chance of a shower and maybe a degree or two below the seasonal mark. So still sort of bouncing around out there. Nighttime temperatures could be on the cool side as well, so watch leaving those plants outside in this weather. At least that's how things are shaping up at this point. I'm Steve Ruddock. Thanks for watching Southern Ontario News.